Shoot, this could be all your execution if y'all get it wrong. Y'all so intent on blaming it on me. You know what Selena Gomez said? Everything is not what it seems. I ain't watched Wizard of the Blue Place. It's like a Hollywood movie set up. Whatever, bruh. Sit down. What evidence I got? Yeah, I got all the evidence. Yeah. Oh yeah, we on we finna catch your ass, boy. Set skills, what that mean? Increase damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet time battle. I don't know what the fuck that means. I don't know what the fuck that means. Let's begin with a basic I think I should turn off the, the, the camera for this trial. so y'all can so get the full. Votes will deter oops, oops. There you go. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then what? I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Fine by me. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay, then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. <laughs> okay. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the <laughs> hell would they raise their hand? <laughs> What is wrong with cuz, man? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What is it, Kyoko? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. True. Friendship. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate his guts. I hate him. Expel him. Please. Okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. What does that mean? Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. Let's go. Come on, bro, I'm ready. I live for this moment. It's the Tato Sasuke in his joint. You're... Yeah, yeah, because what was y'all talking about with like, y'all said something. Oh, so I got to find lies or contradictions. Okay. Yeah, okay. Use the left stick to aim and fire with the X button. Oh, shit.
I'm ready, man. Fuck this. Evidence of a struggle. Come on. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Okay. Yeah, True. You know that part already. And the murder took place in the photo's room. No! He's lying. So it seems most likely that. Oh no, that's my, Makoto is me. I'm tripping. <laughs> Lie. You're fucking wrong. Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. Yeah, and and listen to my sweet voice. Why the fuck am I talking like this? <laughs> With the way things have been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. Hold on. Let me turn the music down because y'all could barely hear their voices. A struggle? Between who and who? The killer and Sayaka. Are you stupid? Between Sayaka and the killer, of course. Man, who is on. Get these bozos off this trial. So you're saying. Sayaka wasn't caught by surprise in the bathroom? How would that be possible? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. Thank you, Celeste. You you using that head. You using that noggin. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. Yes. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. I don't like you, but you spitting. Sorry. Idiot. Yeah, cry some more. You don't know what you're doing. Get off this trial. God dang. Can we have people who that don't have a or have a higher IQ than room temperature room temperature? Get her off. She's not qualified. Okay, so what's next? We find out who the killer is. What, what you mean? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Okay. What you want to know? Wow. I know everything. This is starting to sound like a real trial. Yeah, cuz it was a real murder. I know what killed Sayaka, bro. Stop playing. Come on. What y'all? What else y'all want to know? What else y'all want to know? I got you. Kitchen, I say, yeah. So what was used to kill her? I know. There was some kind of sharp object thrust into her stomach. Yeah, that's right. Without a doubt, that is the murder weapon. Yeah. So the killer used some random knife they had on him. Nah. No, it wasn't no random knife, no, bro. It wasn't no random knife. I know where that came from. No, I do think it was a knife, but not just any knife. I'm almost positive it was a kitchen knife. Huh? A kitchen knife? Yeah, you know what a kitchen knife is? After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Yeah. Which means that knife must be the murder weapon. Absolutely. I put that on your muscles. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. Sort of? Are y'all stupid? And if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Why are y'all acting like y'all just couldn't just look at the knife? Like, what are y'all talking about? Are, are y'all for real? Okay, so the murder weapon was a kitchen knife, but where does that get us? Shut up, murderer. I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Here we go. Look, trying to blame me. You're not going to get that off. You're not going to get that off. You may convince the idiots, but you're not convincing nobody else. You convinced her, dumbass. Hold on a second. I'm. Let's draw our conclusions after we. Thank you, Kyoko. Otherwise, what's the point? Thank you, Kyoko. Get these idiots in line. Well, we can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. Um, you know, if we get it right, everybody, or if we get it wrong, everybody dies, right? Man, off him. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new will reveal itself. You really believe that? What is wrong with y'all? What else I gotta know? You can concentrate by holding down the R button. 
While you're concentrating, time will slow down so you can pay cl closer attention to what everyone's saying. On top of that, it'll steady your aim, making it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this consumes focus gauge, so if the gauge empties, you can't concentrate. But the focus gauge will cover over time, so let your brain take a rest. No need to rush. Okay. Well then, good luck and have fun. I got you. Uh, this is not fun, but I got you. Make your argument. I always account. <clears throat> so I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder weapon. Yes. But where does that get us? Shut up. Koto must have taken it from the kitchen, boy. We did it in secret. We nobody was in the dining hall. Shut up. And then he huh? stabbed Sayaka with it. Why they wouldn't let me? What? So he really did do it. Why wouldn't they let me contradict that? We've reached the end. So I guess there's no question that the kitchen knife was the murder what? weapon. What the fuck? But where does that get us? Maybe it's because I pressed it too early. Yeah, shut your line ass up. Shut your line ass up. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. Yeah. Next you're gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you want. What is wrong with it? Did I do something to you? Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Hina, this ain't no time to play dumb. I, I know you are actually dumb, but I need your help. Please. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah, that's right. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> no, he definitely wasn't there. The knife disappeared while Kino was in the dining hall. But I wasn't there the entire time. I should be dang. I should have played this on a harder difficulty. Cause I feel like I should be able to present the evidence. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. And I oh, think they have that in, that choice this? in the uh, harder difficulty setting. What if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? What? Think about what the fuck you just said. Toko. Toko. Look at me. Hold on. Toko. Look at me in my fucking face. Look. Hold on. Toko. Toko. Look at my fucking face. Think about what the fuck you just said. If they let the murderer get away, everyone dies. Why would she help me? If she didn't care about her life, she might as well help ha have helped me with the murder too. Or just said that she did it. Lord, Lord, help. Help. Idiot swimmer girl. I, and you call her an idiot. Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in something like that? Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So, in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Exactly. 
Come on. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? Unless they were suicidal themselves. But what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! You know it's sad when the bear just gotta straight up tell you y'all are being stupid, overthinking things like you and Hunter Hunter. Oops, did I say that out loud? Thank you, thank you. Anyway, I you gotta tell go these to idiots. The hall, and I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Leon! Hina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Sure, but can you or anyone else prove that? I can. Mm. That's right! Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. <laughs> right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um, well... Just spit it out already. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking, I just asked her to stay over. Which means, we have airtight alibis. You stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room. So, I don't think that's a problem. It is a problem! A boy and a girl spending the night together? It's... it's unwholesome! Sakura is a girl. You You haven't been paying attention. I'm a girl. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? You are? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, there is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. And you now choose to reveal this information. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Bro, <laughs> Biakio might be me. <laughs> he might be me. <laughs> he is so fed up, bro. He just want to go home. Well, because they're not here anymore. Oh, it was Junko? Or, oh no, it was Sayaka. So Sayaka took the knife. Sayaka? She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Yeah, Sayaka. Huh? It was Sayaka. I got it. Then, Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... when the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? Yes. In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am talking to literal idiots. Oh my goodness. What? See? He did do it after all. No, you're wrong. So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Toko. Oh, 
Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Someone using a hit. Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. Like what? And until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. Yeah, like if I was the killer, why would I spend time why would I spend time picking up hairs that were already that could already be explained by it being in my room? Don't you think that's stupid? Cause yeah, the lint roller was used in my room to clean up hairs. There was not any hairs. Why would I clean up hairs in a room that's already mine? That doesn't make any sense. Even with cleaning up evidence, it doesn't make sense because the body still Saika's body is still in the room and it's in my room. So I could I could explain why hairs of both would be in there. It will only make sense if it was somebody else's hairs. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? Listen to her because lit, lit, lit. talk slow for them, uh, Kyoko. Please talk slow for all. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I know what you're talking about. I'm on the same page. It was the hairs, bro. Now I understand. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. So the culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that Sayaka had ever been there. That makes sense, does it not? No, it doesn't. Did you just listen to what you just said? Why would they need to remove traces that Saika is, is there when a dead body was in the bathroom? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. What the hell? <laughs> yes, very true. He very fooled me. Shut true. up. You don't you not you not following this case. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why Celeste said that. That was very not smart. Then why wasn't there hair on the ground? Cause you did it. The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then Makoto isn't the culprit. You know I wasn't a culprit. Stop playing. Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Y'all basing this just on that sh it, it was my room when anybody could have just went in the room. Does it sound smart that I would kill her in my own room when I had to still get away with it? No, there are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. It is. I would like to hear these reasons. Man, Kyoko, to me, talk to them. Talk to them. What else? Talk to them. Talk to them. Yo, oh, I already know what evidence she gonna present. The doors don't lock for boys. The doors don't lock for boys. Sayaka went into the bathroom to escape from the killer. The killer unhinged the doorknob. Why would they unhinge the doorknob when the door is already open? The only reason why he unhinged the doorknob because he didn't know it was a little, you had to wiggle it a little to enter the door. Stop playing. I got this case. Come on. Detective Sasuke on the case. 
Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah, then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. Except it's a boy's room, which means the bathroom wouldn't be locked. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember, Makoto? Yeah. I got it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Huh? The doorknob? What doorknob? So y'all didn't investigate the scene at all. The doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely... Y'all literally just going off this trial by pure vibes. See how the top part was unscrewed? And the doorknob's about ready to fall off? Oh, yeah. True. But what does it mean? Hey, say this real slow so they understand. In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Free me, Kyoko. I love you, Kyoko. Free me. I said it before. I don't know if there's any Kyoko in, an in anime or whatever, manga, that's been a bad character. I, I mean, there may have been one. There may have been one. It was one. I forgot what anime it was, but like Kyoko, that's a blessed name. Kyoko Sakura from Madoka Magica, Kyoko Honda from Fruits Basket, and now we got Kyoko Kirigiri. Blessed so what, name. You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? Yes. But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. The boys' room, the bathroom doesn't lock. You still don't see? Okay. Idiot. Then. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help you understand. Thank you, Kyoko, man. Uh, uh, Kyoko, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. All right, let's go. Let's go. The incident took place in Makoto's room. True. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. Yeah. She then fled into the bathroom. True. Then the killer ran after her. Yeah. And they got into the bathroom. Yeah. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. No. No, that's wrong. Idiot. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? Yes. Yes, now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Huh? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, killer. My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Yup, true as true can be. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door... I mean, some can say me having that door is what helps me in this case, so... <laughs> That's not lucky at all! So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. 
so they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Yes. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Saika switched the names. Saika switched the nameplates. Yeah, Saika had to switch the nameplates. But no, that doesn't make any sense because then she would need this. Well, I don't know if she would need tools for that. I don't know. I don't know if she would need tools for that. I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but... The killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door open. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... Definitely something I wouldn't do, since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? That is a definite possibility. Thank you. Start using your head. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Let's just tape up the stupid people. <laughs> You're going to have to tape up most of the courtroom. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Wow! Okay, then who did do it? I got a name for you. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. I hate him. I hate him. I hate his guts. I hate his guts. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? And then we die. Well, then, why don't we just vote right now? Majority rules. Are you stupid? Majority rules? Do you really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> you don't gotta sound so disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Hina, you earned your stripes. Asking a good question. Asking a good question. Asking a good question. Nobody has asked that. It limits it to a male. Thank you, Hina. Thank you. Thank you. They call you stupid? How? Mm, yes. How did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's Boy, possible, right? Hey, I would be I would be heated if I, I I didn't already know you was the killer. I would be heated. I would have been like, it's no way. It's no way he's just... But, but, you know, you know, he's got to try to throw out all the possibilities. What if this happened? No, you did it, bro. I'm on your ass. We're going to kill you. I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then maybe someone picked the lock? Yeah. Negative. If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. When did he say that? Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. 
they could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, -ho! trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Please kill him. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? I don't know. Is it this? I got it. <laughs> I don't know. Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. Okay, so I guess I got it right. Knowing what she'd been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? Huh? W what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? That could be true. She could have tried to let him in. She could have. Yeah, that, that could be true. She could have tried to let him in. Tr killed him. And then framed me for the murder. That is that, that is true. She could have did that. She she could have did that. I didn't I didn't think about that, but she could have did that. She she remember because she's the one with the knife. So whenever the dude tried to get in, she could have let him in, tried to kill him, didn't work. Of course, he goes to get the little katana or whatever, and he ends up with a he, they struggle or whatever, and he, he, he ends up with the knife. That could have that's that's a possibility. Because they're saying that you can't pick the locks. I'd even I'd even know that. So yeah, she could have tried to kill him and wanted to switch rooms because she wanted to frame me. I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? Yeah, I mean she she got the knife first, so. There's something I want to talk to you talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the name place to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? I found a notepad during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appear. Oh, man! I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. That's the little pencil rubbing thing. Yeah, we know about that. When you write, it can leave an imprint. Sketch over the next sheet of paper, and you can see the words. She's actually smart. When I saw that, I was like, holy crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Oh, and I should also mention, I found the notepad on the desk in Makoto's room. Huh? Which means... Only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. But... Of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's signature. But, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation, what young man could resist? Of course, I'm only into 2D, so it wouldn't have any effect on me. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? Yes. Very well then. Pay attention.
Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. So in other words, oh, I got that wrong. even if someone did read the note and did what it said, they would not have any connection to what happened. Mm. It certainly would seem that way. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. Is that it? Shoot. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Exactly. The room that Makoto was staying in. No, that's wrong. The nameplates on my and Sayaka's room. Is Celeste going to get switched. you killed? Probably. They got switched? But she didn't know this information, so this this is fair. That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. Then... If someone did do what the note said, they would end up at Makoto's room where Sayaka was. Oh, gameplay wise. Plus, their rooms are right next to each other, so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched the names was. Well, of course it wasn't you, right, Makoto? No. Right? Okay, then who did it? I got it! Me and Sayaka were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the nameplates was Sayaka. You can also infer as much from her note. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written that if she knew the nameplates had been switched. Yeah, so Sai could catch, tried to catch a body and messed up. So she said that, like, you know, meet me in my room, whatever, to catch him off guard, while simultaneously having a body be in my room. Because all she has to do from that point in is switch the nameplates again. Then it's my room. And then I might have a body in there, and I'm not going to be able to, be able to explain why a body's there. Why would she switch them in the first place? And even if I reveal the information that I, we switched rooms, it's not going to make any sense if she's the one that's accusing me. It's going to just sound like I'm just throwing out some bullshit. She wanted someone to come to the room she was in and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. What? Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you'd switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? She tried to frame me out. To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was, Trump, whoever she invited over, came in and attacked her. We figured it out. We know who did it. Whoever she invited over is the culprit. Did he just say that? 
But we still don't know who it is, you goddamn idiot. Thank you. Sayaka fought with your killer there in the room, yes? Perhaps the answer to our previous question lies in that initial struggle. Look how nervous he is, man. Look at him. Yes, I think you're right. Then... We just have to figure out what happened during the fight, right? That reminds me. There was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Yes. Oh yeah. What's the deal with that sword? Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. He also got real quiet. How the hell could you possibly know that's what broke her wrist? The reason I know Saika's wrist was broken with the fake sword, she had glitter on her wrist. I got it! All you have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist, and it should become pretty clear. Right there where her wrist is all swollen. There's something glittery there. See? Is... is that gold? It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica sword. You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. And there's some on her wrist because... I got it! Because she got hit with the sword, right there on her wrist! I see, I see. And so the truth draws ever closer. He literally adds nothing. Alright, then it's about time to solve this mystery. As if you contributed. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Okay, I got it. When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. That's what broke Miss Maizono's wrist. So she tried to fight back. She grabbed the kitchen knife she had hidden away. Did I get that wrong? Shoot. Oh, I got that wrong. <laughs> when the That's what broke out. The culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. No, that's wrong. Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Huh? Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. 
So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife. So she initiated it. Yep. First. Yep. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. The culprit came in and found a hidden kitchen knife? Does that make sense to you? Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself, but then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Her hands didn't have any glitter on them. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean, so I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. The shower doesn't work after a certain time. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? Uh, like El El Ellie might be right. We might have to kill everybody here. We might have to kill everybody here. What is Toko talking about? No, that's not it at all. I got it. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death is around 1.30 a.m. This is all information y'all have. Y'all know that, right? In other words, at nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, we haven't taken a shower here yet. What? We've been here for almost a week. Not only is Toko not only is Toko an idiot, she's insecure, and she's dirty. I can't believe this. Oh my. And look at this. You're no different. You smell like a big fat ugly donkey. You know somebody literally got murdered. And if we don't find out who the murderer is, we're all going to die. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. I, I can't. I can't. Kill me. Kill everybody here. An insult, obviously. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on, if that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was Sayaka. Are you starting to catch on? I got it. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? Yes, the one who took the kitchen knife from the kitchen is the one who had the kitchen knife. Like I, I, I But we already said that the attack started with the person with the knife attacked first and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Then the one who attacked first was Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. She tried to set somebody up. No, far from it. It's almost as if 
she'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Nakoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? She tried Maybe to set me up. The reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility. Is I've, it not? I've been called this. I've been called this 30 minutes ago. Sayaka wanted to on me? Yeah. That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. Celestia! We back up. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. Why would y'all believe me? Y'all didn't believe me when I said she, I didn't kill her. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. What does that mean? A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Oh. Who are you more likely to believe? Well, okay. You actually used your head there. Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Yes. Holy shit. But in the end, her plan backfired. I'm glad I didn't spend that one day with Psycho. Woo! I knew not to trust her. I knew not to trust her. I knew not to trust her. I said from the beginning, I don't trust Sayaka. I don't trust her. I said I didn't trust her. Come on. Why would I trust her? She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. Got packed up. That must be when her wrist got broken and she was forced to drop the knife. So low key, she deserved to die. The tables were suddenly turned on her. And she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Mm. Just hold on. That can't be true. Because. Because. She's very gorgeous to me. That's why. That's only. That's the only defense you have. Hey. Hey. You guys have totally derailed the argument. Now you're speaking up after everything. All, all the stupid comments. You're being super boring right now. Come on. Hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer Shut to Shut up, this bear. Mystery. He doesn't like it when you call him a bear. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Oh no, I got some clues. Stop playing with me. I got some clues. Dying message. That's not going to be useful right now, though. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? No, that's wrong. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? Dining? You heard me correctly. The dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her. From 11037. Leon, back. 
there flip must that. Be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Flip that, Leon. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask: Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes, because the blood was on the index finger. Now he could have set that up, but that's a little far fetched. I got it. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? What? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. I'm gonna call him a bear and die happy. N no, that's not. Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like. Huh? What? What? No, it's just. Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one, one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one, one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like them. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Rotate the image 180 degrees. saved oh my god now i see she wrote down the killer's name why didn't we start with this because because this game wanted to waste an hour of my life huh you just shot past the clue card and right onto who did it so whose name did she write I don't even gotta think about it. Here's my answer. We gonna the put your to ass in. Mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N, or more accurately, Leon. What? What the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. D that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Yes, I know what you're talking about, Kyoko. I got you. I got it! 
You mean the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? Speak up, man. But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Oh, I got more. Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white. I got more. Now. That that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that... So why did y'all only true. need like a little bit of evidence to convict me? But y'all need like a, a mountain of evidence to convict him. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I got that wrong. Where it was disposed of? How it was disposed of? I guess I how. If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in. And the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash. Right? Nope. <laughs> Interesting. I know he didn't do it, so let's stop. <laughs> The key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have oh. to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy that's the evidence. No, that's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? They threw the crystal ball to hit the button. The killer simply and uh, Leon used to play baseball. And threw the ball through a gap in the gate. He the only one that can make a throw like that. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Fumi had the key, so the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on. What the hell is this? <laughs> He's like, you're on to me. Shut up. All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 
30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? That that's right. There's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is I got it! Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? Not as stupid as anybody in this room. A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. <laughs> That's the only defense left. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. <laughs> All right, let's let's wrap this up. And with that, we can end this. About time. Listen to me. What the hell do you mean end this? Oh, oh. Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. All right, so I got to Okay, so what happened first, I guess? What do I got to like drag? Oh, I got to like drag it. So Okay, act 1. I'm so confused as if this is supposed to be a manga or like I'm confused at which way this is supposed to go. Okay, this is Hold on, let me go back to page 1. Oh, so it is supposed to be like a manga. I think that happened first. Ashley.
Okay. Alright, let's see. I think I got it right. Also, she was so petty after she failed to set someone up. She, she snitched. Hey. Exactly what you, <laughs> you got to. I think I better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there, intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room, and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there. But the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed.
Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? All right, it would appear now at that security. hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> he not going out without swinging. I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? <laughs> without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it. <laughs> well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. How do you know I got all this evidence? <laughs> I literally had to fight their ignorance. So uh, apparently being like a guitar hero player proves, <laughs> proves evidence. All right, just let me do it. Cause... When the killer removed the screws from the doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Instead, they must have used something that belonged to them. Oh, that's true. The screwdriver. I refuse to acknowledge you. You're stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Good argument. Stupid, 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 stupid. I am I am like what what the hell is this your proof Has to be the stupidest thing I because I because I lost a mini game. They discarded all the evidence presented and then said, "No, it's you, Makoto." That doesn't even sound smart. 
minutes. When does this end? Huh? What the fuck? I, I, I genuinely don't know what the fuck is going on. At this point, I just, just desperately want to finish this first chapter. Shut up! Okay, I, I guess this I figured it out. This should prove it. The <laughs> fuck? I guess I figured it out. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. Lord. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. Well, that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were inside this room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. <laughs> okay. Then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Great argument. Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Oh my god. The face of a, the man, a man that has been defeated. The lies are over. The mini games are over. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. I hope I don't have to prove my innocence like that again, because Jesus. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? Yes. You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so hmm. minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? All right, let's get this murder done so I could I can finish this stream. I this stream has been seven hours, but if you include the uh, previous streams where I had technical difficulties and where I was talking about like Naruto for the first one, like I've been streaming for eight hours. I'm tired. And this is my fir the first day of my fast. Jesus, I am tired. Hold on. All right, we know he did it. Let's get it on. But you son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, he did get attacked. Like he did walk. Like don't 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 get me wrong. He didn't have to kill her because she locked herself or she didn't lock herself, but she went in the bathroom or whatever, and he could have walked away at that point. But it's not like Sayaka was innocent. She initiated this. So I don't feel you any sympathy. You had a choice. That now that's a lie. So that's why none of you are any different. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Hey, come on. Yeah, I feel it.
Hey man, but you knew the rules too. You knew if you had if you uh were to kill somebody, you had to get away with it. So it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. And the rules of this school, if you kill somebody, you have to get away with it. You weren't successful, sir. It is what it is. It's not about who is right or whatever. It's who can prove. <laughs> or not prove, but who can, who would you, like I said, who can get away with it? We not charge you for first degree, second degree, manslaughter, none of that. <laughs> yeah, she was lying to me from the beginning. She was using me. I told you. I told you not to trust her. <laughs> All right, let's kill him. Ba -bum, ba -bum. I mean, really, I can't trust nobody, but I mean, there's a couple of people I feel... I feel won't resort to like shady tactics. I think, I think my boy is all good in the hood. Mondo, I love Celeste, but she's a snake. She's absolutely a snake. So I, I, I can't trust her as far as I could throw her. Hina, Hina, I feel like I could trust Hina, but I feel like she can be manipulated as well. So that, that would be a reason not to trust her. Kyoko, I mean, she seems righteous and all, but I don't know. It's all your fault. No, idiot. That's enough. Thank you. Thank you, Kyoko. I'm an idiot. Calm down. Damn it. Ba -bum, ba -bum. <laughs> He's so mad he didn't get to catch three bodies in one day. <laughs> He's so heated. Ah, oh, fuck. I wish you would have hit me. All right, can we kill him now? Pun punishment? You mean execution? Yes. Wait a second. Yeah, that's it. We don't care if you were justified. Just die. Okay. And I already said it wasn't it, it wasn't exactly self defense because you went into the bathroom to kill her. You went in there to finish the job. Do you understand? That's true. I didn't think about that. So he'd even do it in the heat of the moment. He went back to his room to get the tool set. I didn't think about that because either he had the, it was premeditated and he already had the screwdriver with them or she locked herself in the bathroom. He went to get his tool set real quick and then went back to kill her. I didn't even think about that. So that's why. Oh. He, he killed your precious Saika. Do you not understand? <laughs> I love Celeste. I mean, yeah. Like, you're not wrong, Makoto, but still. Chills, kills. 
Please. I'm begging you. Please. Don't do this. Just kill him. I'm trying to go to sleep. Hey. Come on now. Stop. Please. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. Oh, I remember this death. I remember this death. Because I was looking at Don Don Gon Rapa deaths. I remember like Junko dying in a certain way, but I guess that was a different game. Because she didn't the death I remember wasn't a death that happened in this game. But I remember this death. This is a brutal ass death. This is brutal. No, 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 no. Be prepared. No matter of fact, let me turn off my camera. We've got. It's punishment time. This is brutal. No! Yeesh, that was brutal. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't be the same after watching something like that. Extreme. <laughs> what the fuck? My God, some of these characters are stupid. I do just want to see the bear die. Probably just probably just not gonna happen. What does this mean? Hey. Thrills, chills, kill. Hey. Right, we check me in chapter two so I can turn this thing off. Come on. 
I am tired. Just a second. What's up? Makoto. Hold on. Hold up. Listen. It's true. She was thinking to me, I don't care. Either way, if she was successful with killing a dude, even if she didn't frame it me, if she got away with it, we all still would have died. So I don't care. Stop trying to stop trying to frame Sayaka as a good person. She wasn't a good person. However. So the fact that she used her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That just means she wanted she wanted to the person who killed her to be captured, which like anybody would want that regardless of what you did. Stop trying to frame her as a good person. I don't care what the game tells me. I know what I saw. Certainly. Anyway. Why are you caping for Sayaka? Is she your friend? Right. Or maybe she was just too weak. Correct. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. <laughs> hey. So now she's psychic. What? Hmm. What the hell? Oh, that's his way of carrying carrying on her memories by saying I'm psychic. Yeah, I'm not carrying on Sayaka's will. Like I said, I don't care what the game tells me. Sayaka was a piece of shit and she deserved to die. Appreciate that. Only took me about <laughs> seven hours and 30 minutes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Life is just death, taking this time. Who gonna take it from my hand? Was lonely before friends. I'm holding my own hand and taking these bad shots, just hoping they go in. Everything folds in.